right, it's another case of if your mom didn't dump you in the trash, you got it pretty good. Yeah. Because in all honesty, this woman, uh, I don't know, I, I kind of lean more towards like shell of a human being or mutant or I don't know, something that really does not quite categorize itself as a human being because human beings are supposed to have empathy. They're supposed to have feelings. They're supposed to not just, you know, uh, I don't think I like my 20 month old anymore. Let's put him in the trash. Yeah. And somehow thinking she's going to get away with it. This is happening in Georgia. They finally, after a lot of people were complaining, saying, why are you not arresting her? Her 22, uh, her, her, this 22 year old woman, uh, daughter, uh, been missing more than a month, this toddler. Nobody knows where they are. Family's like, what the hell's going on? And she's just like, oh, hmm. there's something missing in your soul if this is how you are able to function. It's very Lori Daybellish, but that was kind of culty. This one, I don't even know what to make of it. They finally took her into custody. The Lonnie Simon, in connection with the disappearance of a 20 month old Quentin Simon. She was transferred to the uh, Chatham County Detention Center uh, where she's awaiting a bond hearing. So what happened? Well, ever since November, investigators have been searching. They had some sort of a lead. We don't know what the lead was, but it led them to a landfill in hopes of finding the remains or evidence relating to the death. So they could at least say he's dead. What was the tip-off? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Maybe somebody wrote it on a little note at Applebee's and then slid it across the floor to an officer who was eating some curly fries. Your guess is as good as mine. They uncovered what they then believed to be human remains at the Waste Management Landfill site, which is pretty good odds because I don't know if you knew this. I didn't know this. When the FBI searches landfills, they have about a 5% success rate. That's why people put dead people in the trash because you lower your odds. I think even more than like burying them in the woods or something. 5%. Those are some odds I think a lot of people are willing to play. It also makes you wonder how haunted are uh, dumps. Well, they already knew that... Uh, uh, Leah uh, Liani was the, the prime suspect early in the investigation. Everybody's screaming, what do we do? When are we going to get her? But the thing is, I don't know if you're aware of this. They're, they're playing by the rules of not letting her go or tipping their hand and saying, we think it's you, but we don't have enough evidence yet. And then she gets free and then she kills herself or she goes just goes missing too. They just kind of played it close to the vest. And we're like, you know what? We're going to wait until we we have enough evidence, if we have enough evidence. And they finally did. They said, we will only do that when we feel we have everything we need. We only have one shot and we're going to do it right. And they did do it right. They finally arrested her. The uh, investigator... Uh, Hadley uh, also said, I'd like to thank the many people who showed their support for our department during this incredibly difficult and important investigation. We appreciate those who kept their faith in the system, who kept their faith in us and our investigative process. And for those who waited patiently for the evidence we needed to make sure Quentin has every opportunity to receive the justice that they deserve. Be a 